Happy March, everyone. I have two exciting updates for today. The first is that our overall memory care census is currently the highest it has been in the past 14 months. As many of you know, memory care has been particularly challenging for us the past few years. So this is a nice win and a trend we expect to continue. Uh, the second item to highlight is that February was our eighth consecutive month of growing our team. We have had net growth of team members every month since June of last year. And this is due to a combination of improving retention, losing less people, and improving hiring. So what that means for us is we've increased our headcount by roughly 12%, which is almost 280 people since June, which is fantastic. Still not out of the woods yet, but we're making great progress towards putting the labor crisis behind us and truly appreciate everyone's efforts in making your community a great place to both live and work. This is the third leadership message focused on habits. As previously communicated, the inspiration and content for this theme is coming from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. In January, we talked about focusing on tiny improvements each day and the impact of compounding. And in February, we talked about how to build good habits and break bad ones through the four laws of behavior change. So today, and for the final habits themed message, we're gonna focus on where to start, where to start with habits. So habits are ultimately about who you want to be. Again, habits are about who you want to be, your identity, not what you wanna do or how you wanna do it, it's about your identity. So, and ultimately habits shape our identities and the inverse is also true. Your identity shapes your habits. Therefore, identity is where we should start when focused on our habits. You know, what kind of person or leader do you want to be? The identity should lead your actions or habits. One of my favorite examples from the book on the power of identity is an experiment where a number of individuals, all smokers attempting to stop, um, are offered cigarettes. And you know, one group identifies as smokers trying to quit and respond with, no thanks, I'm trying to quit. The other group, the second group, identifies as someone or individuals who don't wanna smoke and respond with, or who don't smoke, I should say, and respond with, no thanks, I don't smoke. Both groups have a history of smoking and both groups want to stop. The first group that identifies as smokers trying to quit is exponentially more likely to fail than the second group who identifies as someone that doesn't smoke. The mind is a powerful thing. So the more you repeat a behavior, the more you reinforce the identity associated with that behavior. You know, James states in the book that whatever your identity is right now, you only believe it because you have proof of it, your actions, your evidence. If you want a new identity, you repeat the desired behavior, that new behavior, that new habit, as frequently as possible and live from that new identity. So to start your habit journey, you must choose to be the person you want to be and act accordingly. Your identity shapes your habits. So this month, we are highlighting ways in which we as an organization and you as a contributor in the organization give back. More specifically, we'd like to highlight our support of Untold, which was formerly known as Care for AIDS, which many of you are familiar with. And we also wanna let you know about uh, your opportunity to participate in a company-sponsored impact trip with Untold to Kenya. Uh, so first let's start, you know, what is Untold? So one, they're an organization, a nonprofit in East Africa, their main office is in Nairobi, Kenya, that empowers people to live a life beyond AIDS and are focused on ending the cycle of poverty, disease, and orphans, that latter part being super important, um, that have, that ultimately AIDS has caused. And so through our success, we were able to support Untold financially and also sponsor team members to go and experience the ministry firsthand through what we call, what they call an impact trip. Um, sadly, the past few years due to COVID, we've been unable to do the impact trips, but very excited to announce that this September, um, we will start back our impact trips. The goal is to do at least one, if not two of these a year. So what the impact trip is, is a 10 day trip to Kenya to witness the ministry, experience Kenya, including a safari, and ultimately be personally impacted. You're the one being impacted, those that go, to further enrich the lives of others. And so basically the way it works is the company contributes the airfare, so we cover your airfare entirely. We also contribute $500. You as a team member going has to raise an additional $2,500 uh, to participate. So we pay for the airfare, we give you $500 towards the amount you need to raise. You gotta come up with the remaining uh, $2,500, which we've always seen folks be, uh, historically be able to raise very successfully. And you get to go on this amazing, impactful 10 day trip to Kenya. 
Uh, we plan on publishing more formal communication, additional details over the next couple of months, uh, so stay tuned for that. If you are interested, you know you're already interested today, what you can do is you can go ahead and contact Angelica Lizarazzo, who works here in our home office, your HR director, your ED, she can get you her contact information and just let us know so we can start building out the, the team for the trip in September. If you'd like any additional information about ways we give back in general, I'm told, you can actually go to any of our company websites, your community website, there's a giving back section or page. And it'll have links to Untold and also just the other organizations, both locally, regionally, and abroad that we support. So I encourage you to check it out and uh, look forward to the many great stories I got to hear of those that um, participate in our upcoming impact trips. Thank you. I'm Ansley Felton, Director of Member Services. Um, I nominated Beverly because Beverly goes above and beyond for our members um, and our team members all the time, um, particularly when it comes to sharing um, her treats that she has. Um, and she makes for everyone um, on Valentine's Day. She made a whole spread of all these chocolate covered treats and put them out um, for our members to enjoy. Every fifth Sunday when our members do a potluck, um, she always brings extra dishes um, and helps them get it set up and, and runs it for them to make sure they have everything they need um, and just really always make sure that our members are just really um, spoiled and, and treated with um, such love. And, and she does the same for our team members as well. I'm Beverly Frederick. I work at Marsha's Edge Home St. Simons. I've been here five years. I'm a concierge and I stand by the principle, people first always. I love um, baking and making treats. So on Valentine's, Christmas, Easter, and different holidays, I usually bake different things and bring to members and team members to show my appreciation of working here and um, been a part of the team. I'd like to congratulate Jasmine Dalton for being recognized on the WIG report, so deserving. She does a great job serving our members in skilled nursing. She's always on time, always reliable, always picking up extra shifts, and always going the extra mile to serve our members in skilled nursing. So congratulations once again, and thank you for all you do for Homestead Hills and its residents. Jasmine is an inspiration. She's never tired of helping anyone that needs help. She hardly complains about anything, and residents are always on her mind. Jasmine is one of our nursing assistants in skilled nursing here at Homestead Hills. And Jasmine is very quiet, but she's very loud with her actions as well as with her character. As one of our revved up retainer mentors, she is assigned to, to help lead as well as to train new employees as a nursing assistant there in skilled nursing. But Jasmine is also one of our primary point persons for our uh, leadership team as well as also for the nursing staff. And she, she just is exemplary in the things that she does. Uh, we're super, super proud of her, super proud of, of how she carries herself, but then also how she's a great representation of what it means to be a leader. Uh, so Jasmine, congratulations for being spotlighted and highlighted for your efforts, as well as always keeping residents first. Good morning. Today I have the pleasure of nominating Tammy Cantley Clark, our resident care director for our hero submission. She is amazing in everything that she does. She's 100% dedicated to our residents, our staff, team members, and even those folks that, that stroll in off the street. Um, we had recently a gentleman that was found lost by one of our drivers who brought them to my office. I got Timmy right away who was able to get vitals and get him started and just give him the security that he needed when he couldn't even tell us what his name was. I'm amazed every day in watching her work and the care and love. She grows our staff. I'm seeing them move up just like she did and it's just a pleasure to work with her. Tammy's one of the most dedicated team members I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Whether it's assisted living, memory care, skilled nursing, independent living, or even people who don't live here, she provides the same compassionate care to everyone. Thanks, Matt and Ashley. It's an honor to work here at the Lakes. It really, truly takes a village to make sure that everyone is safe here. Um, it's a pleasure to be able to work with these residents every day, and I look forward to coming to work. And every day is a new challenge, and uh, recently, helping the gentleman that came in off the street, that was 
amazing to be a part of. Hey, this is Elisa Conway from Osprey Village, and we are so excited to call Paris Woods part of our family. She's been with us for about two years. She's a CNA and a medication technician. She has a heart of gold and loves every family member and resident. We are so proud to call her one of our own. Thank you, heroes. Uh, as always, fantastic to keep hearing these amazing stories. It just gets harder and harder to uh, choose and select uh, which of the few we're going to highlight. Uh, so thank you for all of your heroic efforts. Look forward to hearing more stories. And of course, remember, we've got the upcoming uh, Untold Impact Trip. Very excited to have some folks participate in that. And also, if you want to work on your habits, start with identity change. Thank you. <laughs>